We have data from Apollo, but the actual area that we've explored on the moon is very, very small. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> Why are we on a slope? You okay? Apollo missions landed around the equator. The Artemis generation is going to be going to an entirely different part of the moon, the South Pole. It's much more complicated to land on the South Pole, so we're going to a place that's more difficult in a very harsh environment. At the South Pole, the sun never gets very far above the horizon, so we're going to be looking at long shadows of complete darkness. We actually talk about having to survive and, and hop between oases of light because the temperature variation could be significant. But I <laughs> can't even describe how exciting it is to somebody like myself. My name is Jacob Bleacher. I always did like wearing the gear, right? And now I'm the chief exploration scientist for human exploration at NASA. We're going to the South Pole because we think that there are resources out there that could help us. Water is made up dominantly of hydrogen and oxygen, so those are two components that we could use to produce fuel. And we think that there are other elements there as well. That's where that human presence is gonna be critically important because humans can really process information and cover distances in a way that robots can't. And so the extension handle would connect onto that. We are in a brand new space era. Yep. So this We're on the cusp of discoveries and capabilities that have never existed before. 